Well, hello again from Kingston. It's very unusual for me, but I'm deliberately going to give myself more work this week. And I'm going to deal with the concrete pour, the final one on the steel span, separately. So here we go. Pay close attention. Don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Some time ago, on November 23rd last year, the first concrete was laid on the steel span. This ran westward over the eastern half span. For a variety of reasons, it would be some months before the next concrete appeared. The next would occur on April 4th and it would deliver concrete to the centre of the span between piers 18 and 19. Two days later, concrete would be poured eastward from Pier 17, mirroring that laid in November. Two weeks later, the team would assemble again to close the gap between the western pad and the centre. On Thursday, the 28th of April, a steady stream of ready-mix trucks from CBM would signal that the final pour was underway. With the massive pumper in place, its long arm extended, work progressed steadily and reliably. A successful pour is very much a team game, but if there's one key figure, it's probably the person who operates the pumper arm. He controls both the rate of flow and the position of the arm, remotely. Concrete ideally arrives in a steady flow, completely covering the reinforcing rod. A group working just ahead of the Gomaco machine then rakes it to an approximate level. Backpack driven vibrating rods ensure that no air is trapped in the concrete, weakening it. As the Gomaco machine advances over the fresh concrete, screws pull it towards the machine and rollers then create a level surface behind. The area ahead of the pour is wetted down to improve the flow of the concrete. The process should be smooth and continuous and of course that relies considerably on the regular, reliable supply of concrete from CBM. Machines certainly can't do everything and it's the skilled craftsmanship of concrete finishers that contributes considerably to the final result. We'll round out this review of a concrete pour by taking an overview towards the end of the day which shows off most of the features we've discussed and concludes with a goodbye to the pump wagon.